overwhelm what I do and how I do it when I have too much to do. This is a collab with Dawn at Sensible Living with Money Mom. I'm going to get right into this. I remember one time a couple of years ago, I had so many things to do. I was overwhelmed. And some of the things were little minor things, but they were all adding up. Things like call this particular company, fold my socks and put them away, sew a button on this bag, take the trash out, clean the car out. Little things like that, but there were a lot of those tasks. And I was so afraid I was going to forget something. So I did what I always do when I have a lot of things to do. I wrote them all down. And I made sure I had everything written down before I even got started. So that I didn't have to worry about forgetting something. And then, after I wrote them all down, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know which one I should do first. So, what I have decided to do was cut out all these tasks and put them all in a jar like this. And shake it up and draw out the first task. And whatever... It was, that's what I did first. And then I drew out the next task. And whatever that was, I did that. And then I kept right on going until I was at the end of the jar. And I had all the tasks done. And it was really amazing because what was originally daunting and stressful actually ended up fun, I guess because I was doing it one task at a time. I had taken a big project and broke it up into small pieces. And while I was doing that one particular piece, I was able to concentrate on that one piece. And I didn't have to worry about anything else. That one particular task got my time and attention for those few minutes that it took to do it and then it was over with and I moved on to the next thing so I was really surprised at how something that I was dreading something that was so stressful at the beginning actually ended up to be fun so then the next time I had a lot of tasks to do and I decided to use the same method to write everything down and cut out the little strips of paper and put them in the jar. I decided to add a little flair to it. This time, in addition to just writing down all the tasks that I had to do, I decided to write down on one of the little pieces of paper, have a cupcake and a cup of coffee. So whenever I drew out that particular piece of paper, I could stop what I was doing and go to the kitchen and have a cupcake and a cup of coffee. And I didn't have to feel guilty about it because that was part of the project. I know in the past, sometimes when I was doing chores, I would feel guilty if I would stop and have a break, but this time I didn't feel guilty because it was all part of it. So that's what I do when I have so many things to do that it's just daunting and stressful. I break them up into small doable pieces. and write them down, cut them out, put them in a jar, 
and if it's a whole lot of things that I have to do, I might even put in two strips of paper for a break. One of them can be have a cupcake and a cup of coffee. One of them can be go have a sandwich. So it can be whatever makes the individual happy. So that's all and have a nice day.